Woo! Another Danny. Look, um, just a pack of crisps. Um, that's all I've got actually. All I've got till Friday for crisps. <laughs> crisps for breakfast. <laughs> crisps for dinner. <laughs> crisps for tea. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I think I've got some pineapple chunks or something somewhere. But, um, yeah, the reality, car life, living in a car, the reality, right? There's too many people in this, there's too many people actually working for less than universal credit. And there's nothing they can do. Universal credit cannot help them at all. So an, an organisation set up to actually help people, can't help people. Well, there's a problem there, straight away, isn't there? It, can't, it doesn't have the flexibility to help people living in them. Um, working and um, working for less than universal credit um this week yeah, went to work monday <coughs> and tuesday cost me fuel to get to to work both days and back yeah uh but there's only half days so um so i just had back pack of crisps and i just thought <clears throat> but Chris stuck in me what a few people got left. So yeah, so I worked two two days, went to work so I was prepared to work ten, twenty hours, because in driving you get a ten hour day, an eight hour day, ten hour day, twelve hour day. Um but only four hour days. So that's two it's only only eight hours next week. No, half days, right? So um next week I'd be lucky to actually get. I can't work now. I can't get to work. I've got enough fuel to get to work. But I've got enough fuel. I'm not out of fuel. But I um I can't get to work. I haven't got enough fuel to get to work. <coughs> I've got enough fuel to stay where I am. But so I can't work. I couldn't work this morning because I felt well. I um I probably could work now, but it's too late now anyway. Well, it's not. But um. I couldn't. I couldn't say no. I, I sorry. I I had to say last. I, I gave me agency notice last night that I wasn't feeling very well last night, so that they have given enough time to actually get some to get replace me today. But I had work to go to today, an eight-hour day, but um, which would have given me sixteen hours of van money next week on whatever comes through Thursday and Friday. But I can't get to it anyway. So I, I wasn't feeling very well yesterday morning. So I, I said last night, I said, well, you, I, don't, I don't feel great, um, physically. I thought I got the flu, man flu. <laughs> so uh, I got a uh, well, bugged up head, 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 headache and whatever. So, um, yeah, so I said to the agency, um, I won't be in tomorrow, I can't get in tomorrow. So I don't feel, I don't feel great. And if you're driving, you can drive when you're tired, but driving when, you, when you've got a something headache all day long. And you've got to concentrate on right? idiots who are driving around you all day long. <laughs> it's, it's, it's difficult. So it's just, um, even though I need the money, I, can't, I said uh, I won't be in tomorrow. And I can't get there now anyway. I haven't got enough fuel to get to work for tomorrow, for today. And I can't get to work tomorrow because I've got no fuel, not enough fuel to actually get to work tomorrow. So um, I can't work again now until Friday. So. And this is the problem you find. You got um, my ignition now is charging the battery for, for the phone. So I've got seven percent, seven percent on the battery on the phone. But I can't start my car too many times because I haven't got that much fuel to start it. So I've got no heating for the next two days. If I told Universal Credit this, they would say, um, "Well, we can't help you because um, of this excuse and that excuse and every other excuse." And uh, this assessment period, and that there's nothing we can do. Uh, so, so, so it's, but it's a waste of time contacting Universal Credit to go around on the digital on the audio conveyor belt from this department to that department. It's a complete waste of space. So um, yeah, so you have to sit tight and um, try and get through to um, to Friday. <coughs> but uh, for I've got a. Um, I think my battery will go flat before Friday. 
but then if it's about to go flat before the fuel runs out. That is a benefit. It's, it is. Because if your fuel, if, you, if your battery doesn't run out, but your fuel runs out, it still can't go anywhere, can you? Um, either way, you can't go anywhere. So, and you can't charge your phone. When your battery goes flat, you can charge it, and you can't, you can't start your car. You can still charge your phone for a few, for a few times. Well, for a bit anyway. Even though you're going to... Because the only way you can restart your battery is to jump start it, isn't it? Well, whatever jump start is, you know, IC or whatever, or AA or whatever. So, um, even though your battery's flat and you can't start your car, you can still charge, you can still drain your, drain your battery. It's not good for your battery, but sometimes you need to use your phone, don't you? You've got to use your phone to phone, to phone up. So, yeah, sometimes you've got to do this, haven't you? Um, person with just one glove on. So, um, yeah, yeah, so it's, it's car life, it's, it's best, living, living the dream, car life, living the car, earning less than universal credit, and there's nothing universal credit can do about it. Two days with no heat, and it's only five degrees, it's only five degrees in the car.